Good morning, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. It is a beautiful fall day. It is going to be 85 and sunny here in Colorado. And I'm going to share with you something we love. And I will be right back to let you know what it is. Welcome back. I am going to be talking about art, A-R-T, and all the things we love about art. There's just such a wide range of things that we can do, but this morning I'm going to share with you some things I'm doing with my preschooler, and just to get him involved. He loves painting and drawing, and it's just so exciting um, to have a family that loves art. My eighth grader is amazing she can really draw and paint and she is very creative and later I'm going to share with you a video on her things that she's painted or done but at the present moment um, our things are packed because we are moving into our other house and um, so I packed all those things away so I'm going to share what I have today um, about uh, art with my preschooler. So the first things I want to start with, I'm going to share with you are some books from Osborne. And they're just such great. I love Osborne and I am a consultant. I don't sell any books, but I purchase lots of them for myself. And it's just, they're a blessing and they're absolutely beautiful. So the first one I'm going to share with you is called My First Art. It is the cutest book. I absolutely love it. It's a spiral. It doesn't look like it, but when you open it up inside, there's a spiral bound. And it is just amazing. And it just has, it gives you everything. It tells you the contents. It tells you drawing, painting, um, printing, cutting, pasting, and models. And it just has several things. And it tells you what you're going to need. It tells you that you'll need pencils and chalk and paint and brushes, paper, cardboard, scissors, fabric, buttons, strings, sponges, poster putty, leaves, and non-toxic craft glue. And that's important to make sure because of our little ones. And then it just goes through some drawings and some doodling. And it takes you through some strange shapes and loopy animals and scribbly faces. And it just goes, it walks you through, it gives you this picture called the Jungle Prince. And this artist painted a bright picture of monkeys in a tropical jungle. You can create your own jungle scene using printing. So you can take leaves and you can do other things with them and you can make flowers out of them and just be creative. And it just talks about making how you do a butterfly and flowers and buds and bugs and beetles and a parrot. And it just goes through. These are lines and circles. And it talks about with lines and circles, you can create a night owl or a sailboat or shapes and circles. And it goes through very many. This is ghost prints. And I thought this would be appropriate for fall and for um, Halloween coming up. And then it's got some prints over here. It's got a rabbit and apple. And it tells you, try using different objects and see what kind of ghost prints they make. So super cute. And it just goes through several different, this is cutting and pasting. So you can, making cutouts and paste. So you can be creative and you can make like a collage of all the different things and things and shapes you cut out and put them together. That's art also, being so creative. So this is just... Um, this is a splatter and a splash, and just so much fun. So this book, like I said, is from Usborne. It's called My First Art Book. So really nice book. Uh, the next book I have is by Usborne also. It's called Usborne, the Children's Book of Art. So this could be from preschool up through elementary and even actually older. And it goes through, it tells you the different, here are some of the artists whose pictures are included in this book. And it lists each person's name down. And then it takes you through and it gives you some beautiful illustrations, some beautiful pictures. And you just go through, it tells you about the artist. It talks about the art and, and why, and, and why make art. Why do we want to be creative? Why should we 
do art? Why should we know about art and just why it's important? And then it talks about making pictures and different kinds of pictures. And then it has oil. It has mixing oils. It talks just about so many different things. And it's, you know, just has beautiful pictures. Michelangelo and just Monet and just so many different beautiful pictures. And it walks you through Hunters in the Snow. And it tells you um, the year and the size the picture was. And it gives you inter internet links that you can connect with. And it just goes through and shows some beautiful pictures. This is the milkmaid. And it tells you that the milkmaid, and that it was an oil painting. And it was 1658 through 1660. And just beautiful. I love this one. This is probably um, the fruit and flowers is probably one of my favorite. I think it's beautiful. And there's just so many beautiful pictures in here and different artists that um, your children can learn about. So this is a great um, curriculum to add to your art program in your homeschool or if you are public school, you can have them and working on weekends or after school and it's internet linked so it makes it really nice. So this is a great book. The next book by Usborne is Usborne's Famous Artist. And my daughter uses this one. This might be a little bit much for my preschooler, but elementary and older. And it just talks about famous artists. It gives you who is going to be in here again. And then it talks about, about, about this book. It tells you about it. it tells you that it's going to tell you the artist. Um, it's going to tell you his birth and his death. And it's going to talk to you about his beautiful paintings that they did. And it just takes you through, and it shows you just beautiful, beautiful pictures. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, it tells you on the top here that Leonardo da Vinci, uh, 1452 through 1519, and it tells you about what he did, and it gives you a timeline in this book. I don't know if you can see that. Let me slide this up. But it has a timeline of work he did and during that time period. And it just goes through um, so many different artists. And, of course, the famous picture, the Mona Lisa, and the Last Supper. And they're just, they're beautiful, beautiful pictures. And it's just, there are several pages. I mean, it goes through, like I said, several artists, Monet. It just has um, Vincent van Gogh. It's just beautiful. And just so much great information on each one. That makes it really nice. So I like that. So, like I said, that is another one by Usborne Book. Famous artist. Um, the next book I'm going to share with you is an awesome book we love. Van Gogh, Paints the Night Sky. Vincent Can't Sleep is the name of the book. Super cute for children. Beautiful illustrations. I just love this book. And this is his, shh, Vincent's Asleep. And we are going to be painting this picture. And I'm anxious to see... Um, how my son does this at four and a half and I want to keep it and then we're going to compare it um, each year how we it changes and more detail that he adds and it just gives you beautiful illustrations there's a glare there I apologize but just a, a beautiful book and I love the title Vincent can't sleep and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous book and that's where the painting the night sky came in the next one is um, uh, by Michael Bird, and it's illustrated by Kate Evans. It's Vincent Starry Night and Other Stories, A Children's History of Art. This is an awesome book. I got this off Amazon, and like I said, it's just, it's got some really, let me just go through it. It tells you the contents of the stories, uh, the artists that are going to be in here, um, and then it gives you, um, like, the stone and the stone into statue, and it's Michelangelo, and it talks about him, and it gives a story about how he decided to create this, or what brought this about. And it just goes through, and um, gives you a lot of information, how long it took him to work, um, it gives you pictures of him working on it, and just a great book. So much knowledge in this book. Um, this is The Art of Philosoph Philosophy, and it's by Raphael, and it's just beautiful. Look at that picture. Absolutely beautiful. And it's in the Vatican City, Italy, 1510 through 1512. And it shows you him working on this and how long it took. It talks about, you know, what material he used. So it gives you lots of great stories. I'm just picking out a few of them. This is Rembrandt's The Flower Girl. 
and um, very different probably than what we would think of a flower girl being in a wedding. I think of weddings when I think of flower girls, but this is absolutely beautiful, done in 1635, and it talks about um, how this came about and tells you about the painting, just as in the other ones. There's tons of stories. And let's see what I have in the back. Oh, Vincent's Starry Night. I went ahead and did that because I just wanted to compare the story with the younger version for the younger children. And this is just wonderful. And it just talks about um, him and his life and about this painting and how it came about. So like I said, there are several stories in here. And it's so much history on art for children. So great, great book. Now some other things I'm going to share with you are some fun things that we that I purchased. Um, oh, the first one I want to share with you also. This is called the Mini Masters, and it it has Van Gogh and it has um, Monet and it just has a bunch of different artists and it goes through. And I like these; they're board books, but they could be used for older children. I purchased them. It says all aboard, clickety clack, out of the station and down the track, and it's got his paintings in here. And it talks about through a field of poppies, red and bright. And these are his paintings. And each one is just beautiful. Past a flock of turkeys, feathery white. These are his paintings. And just beautiful for little ones to start at. Um, you know, just toddlers or infants to share these with. But awesome to use. And the, like I, I got this one. Beautiful covers. Awesome. Pretty. Off. This is awesome. I love these. So this came as a set of four, and I really, really like these. And I just think there's so much um, for you. These are like a keepsake collection of, you know, critical acclaimed board books um, by Mini Master Box Set. Brings some of the world's greatest masterpiece down to size. Each title pairs simple verses and some of the most beloved paintings of our time. It is a lovely way to introduce children to a wonder filled of works. And so I just really like that. So it's a box set. You get four of the board books. But like I said, you could use these. I mean, a high school student can use these by just looking at the pictures and using these and using these to um, paint their own and have share their own creation. So beautiful set here. The next one I got is um, some fun things for Mason to do, but also learning and drawing and being creative. This first one, I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. I can draw that. And in here it's ocean animals because we do um, different studies, uh, unit studies, and it just shows you how to do it and how to color. It gives you some drawing tips, and it gives you a square here, and it gives you like circle and then make like an oval shape with a line at the bottom. Kind of takes you through each step. So these are some fun books. And then this one is called Draw With Me. And I got four of these, and it teaches you like on a bird. We're going to start with just a circle. You can even use your thumbprint. And it just takes you through each one, and then it gives you a section down here below, uh, a practice uh, space down below to do that. And it has a turtle. It just has lots of different ones. A rabbit. Super cute. So this one is on wild animals. This one is on ocean animals. This one is on farm animals. And this one is on dinosaurs. Just super fun to do and really helps them to develop um, their creativity and gives them and encourages them and gives them um, I guess excitement about drawing and just builds their courage to know that they can do anything and they can start with something simple and be so creative and end up with something so beautiful. So I love those. Um, the other book I got, these are called Fingerprint Draw Animals and Insects and these are so cute and it tells you how to use this book and what you'll need and it just goes through things you can do. So it goes through your tools and it goes through material. And then it talks about making a butterfly. How simple it is. Just your thumbprint. So you can do two thumbprints. And then you can do little fingerprints here or your pinkies. And then you can just make a, a Y in the between. And you have created butterflies. And it's just so cute. And it has several things. Fly and an ant you can create. A fish and a crab. Camel. 
sweet. Uh, seahorses and snakes. And I will pull certain ones for, like I said, unit studies. If we are doing something like for the ocean, um, for our ocean unit study, like an octopus and there's a fish, there's several things in here. I will pull out to do these, but great ideas, simple, fun, and just so um, so fun to do with your children and just so creative and they really get excited. And even to frame some of these would be just great for the room or to display anywhere in your home. And this is called Artie World. And this is early learning through art. And this talks to you about how to make a door, find a sticker, find the windows. And in the back of this book, it's got stickers and you're going to start creating a design. So if you're, you're going to do leaves or if you got circles to put on the car or if you need something stars for the starry night or a train ride, what are you missing? And it tells you a little story. Can you draw the missing lines? Draw some more passengers too. And it lets you be creative and it gives you suggestions of things to do. So this is cute at the aquarium. And it says find triangles to make um, tails for the baby fish. So you can go back here. You can find the triangle shapes. So it not only helps you with colors, helps you with shapes. It helps them be creative. So I thought that was a fun book to do um, with my preschooler. And here's another one on finger painting, uh, drawing book, learn how to draw. And it just goes through once again, and you can just make a bunch of little spots. You can use your thumb, you can use different fingers, and you can be creative and make all kinds of little things, kitty cats and frogs and bunnies and trees. And they just love it. The son loves this book. He can make birds and he can express his feelings by making little happy faces or sad face and it can share his emotions for the day which is important to know how he's feeling so this is just another really fun book and then this book is a woodland animal it's a stained glass coloring book and these pictures I saw one do want somebody do one of these and they turned out beautiful and you take these you can use it says to use markers colored pencils I'm gonna bend this back so you can see it and then you would hang it up in your window and you can use paints, you can use colors, you can use markers, you can use pencils, and it says just to see all the different ones that you will be creating. And it shows you how they hang it up on a, on a window or a sliding glass door. And this one is, um, I got woodland animals, and the animals that are in here are raccoon, woodland, um, caribou, a, a beaver, a white-tailed deer, a striped skunk, a moose, a porcupine elk, possum, gray wolf, eastern squirrel, black bear, a wolverine, and a red fox. And, and this is how they turn out. And they're absolutely beautiful. And the kids admire seeing these. And they're so proud of their work. And they're nice to give for gifts to grandparents or aunties and just friends. And they love sharing that. The next ones I have are going to be for the fall season. Some books I picked up. One I bought to our library books. This is the Outdoor Art Room, Art for Fall. And it talks about all the things we can use in the outdoors and how we can be creative. And you just go through, um, let me get to the front. It talks about um, what happens in the fall, when is fall. And then it talks to you about a bug hotel, how you can make things. These are almost like a loose part kit that they could be creative and make their self. How fun would that be? And then it goes through different ideas. Let's see. It has sparkly leaf garland, so they can make some sparkly leaves. They can clip it up, and they can put some glitter on it and make it really pretty. Sometimes we buy all that garland, and we hang it, and, and it's so important to let the kids be creative and make things. This is a leaf bird, so it just shows you the different leaves and how they can go and put the leaves together and create um, something really beautiful. These are pine cone lions. He is super cute. I don't know if you can see him. The little lion right here. He is adorable. So it just goes through several things. And it's just fun because it's in the outdoors. And we love taking our hikes and our nature walks. And then just being so creative and letting them make things from what they found, find in nature. The next book is Halloween Crafts. And it's just things that you can do. This is a library book, but I thought... Hmm, I'm going to grab that book. I think it would be fun. And it goes through and it tells them how they can make a ghost and how they can make a castle and creepy Halloween necklaces and just fun things. They can be creative and make a bat. And it gives you all the things that you're going to need. 
and it tells you how to do each thing. So it's really um, easy and they can be creative uh, for Halloween. Just lots of fun things to do. So a haunted house and just fun things. The bat puppet. And just, like I said, super cute stuff. It gives you a little introduction. It tells you about it, what you want to make. If there's certain things you want to eliminate, you can. And then there's just some fun things they can do. So that was uh, a book. And then this one I purchased. It's called Leaf Man. And I bought it for fall. But when I realized when I opened this book up, there would be a lot of art that we could do. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but they took a leaf and made his face and then a couple acorns and then an inside of a dried flower. And they made Leaf Man. It is so cute. And I just thought, how talented is that? And just, they could be so creative. This one right here shows like another little animal with little ears, leaves, and then acorns, and then a, a darker leaf, and then a leaf with different colors. And just, it's just so beautiful in the fall, how we can be so creative and use all the leaves we find and make different things. This shows like a turkey they made out of that. Oops, sorry, there's a glare there. I want you to have a glare. But there is the turkey. And it just goes through and it talks. Well, I guess it says chicken. Sorry about that. And it just gives you different things you can make. It talks to you about how you can make like a goose and just out of leaves. And it's just so much fun. And we love, like I said, being creative and making all these great things. And it, it's just so much fun to share in art and to teach our children the importance of art and just how they can be creative and it really builds self-esteem and they love sharing it with others so i hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas maybe for your preschoolers or elementary students or even older students and if you liked it go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos hit subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell it will let you know when i make more videos so thank you again for sharing part of your saturday with me have a beautiful fall day and may god richly bless you